The country has over the years suffered from the effects of criminal gangs and drug cartels, but the claim by Prime Minister that part of the proceeds from organized crimes could be finding its way into the country's politics has given it a whole new dimension. Speaking during a launch of a report on transnational organized crime, Raila said organized crime has been financing political activities and criminals are in return being guaranteed protection, tying them directly to the culture of impunity pervading Kenyan politics and business. Money from criminal networks has in recent years found its way into the public life. It is being used to buy elections, and to influence political outcomes. The Premier said the problem is an emerging political, economic and social problem that must be urgently addressed by the government. We have struggled to up our game, but today's battle is a different one. We face a new breed of organized criminals quite different uh, from the one we faced a generation ago. He noted that implementation of laws such as the Proceeds of Crime Act and other anti-money laundering legislations have failed to adequately deal with the problem. Organized crime has also led to the widespread availability of small arms and to an unprecedented level of wanton murder. At the worst end of the spectrum, international drug cartels are operating freely here. Between 2008 and 2010, Somali pirates are reported to have wrecked in 100 million US dollars, approximately 10 billion Kenya shillings, money whose destination is suspected to have ended in Kenya. Haligan Agade for the news at 9.